As Republican governors in key swing states like Florida scramble to figure out why President Obama is leading in the polls, the Romney campaign is on its heels trying to explain everything from his refusal to release his tax returns to retroactive retirement. Meanwhile, House Speaker John Boehner announced he's raised $80 million to help reelect Republicans in Congress. And that got us wondering, are Republicans quietly preparing for Mitt Romney to lose in November? Congressman Joe Courtney is a Democrat from Connecticut. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Professor. Glad to be here. Thank you, Congressman. We know Congress isn't going to do much in the way of legislating between now and November. So what is your take on the speaker boasting about raising $80 million for the party? Seems a bit ideologically narcissistic, doesn't it? Well, it certainly clears up the mystery about uh, what's been going on for all those days that the House was not in session. I mean, really, if we had the same energy applied to the to-do list that sits before the House in terms of postal reform, uh, Violence Against Women Act, uh, budget bills that need to get passed, obviously the fiscal cliff, sequestration. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, and we have barely uh, had a House that's in session. And when we are, we you know have these pointless debates on repealing health care. Uh, again, he obviously has been busy. Uh, raising those kinds and those sums of money. Uh, but I do think it's important for people to recognize that, you know, that is going to be their firewall, they hope, uh, if the uh, race for the White House doesn't go their way. And it's why, again, people need to stay focused on the fact that we really do have an opportunity to win the House this year. And, uh, and that number in that um, uh, presentation press release that the speaker came out with shows that there's a little bit of nervousness and panic over there. Yeah, no question about that. And it does inadvertently show where their priorities are, not in passing all that great legislation about what you spoke, but about raising more dough uh, for the kitty. Let me play part of what Republican Senator John Kyle said on Meet the Press on Sunday. I'm believing that the Republicans, first of all, are gain, will gain control of the Senate. That means that both the House and the Senate will reject these kinds of job-killing tax increases that the president is proposing. Well, given your analysis about the ability of the Democrats to take over the House, you'd quibble with that. But have you heard anything on the Hill that might lead you to believe Republicans are worried about Romney's chances and therefore focus on getting members of Congress elected instead? Absolutely. I mean, this has been sort of a, a you know, back chatter um, in terms of the super PAC priorities uh, that are out there. I mean, we saw, frankly, the, the foreshadowing in 2010 when it was the first post-Citizen United election and House races where good Democrats who uh, worked very hard and, and looked pretty strong uh, going into the election were basically run over by a bus in terms of the super PAC money that, that flowed into a lot of these races. And, and frankly, it's something that I think every uh, person in the Democratic caucus, Steve Israel heading up the DCCC, um, you know, are really uh, warning people that you've got to be ready for the fact that um, these forces are going to be out there. And, and as you point out, if they feel that the White House is a lost cause, they are going to stampede uh, into House and Senate races. Again, I think Senator Kyle is, it's, is engaged in wishful thinking. I think we're going to hold on to the Senate. Um, and I think, again, the House is where we really have an opportunity to unlock the gridlock that's in Washington right now and to try and get some real movement on issues that really are just crying out for action and the Boehner legacy uh, you know creating probably the most despised Congress in, in modern memory um, has all been about sort of obstructing and blocking uh, issues that uh, again you know really are almost just baseline issues I mean we're not talking about a really ambitious uh, agenda in terms of the issues that I mentioned earlier. This is about just sort of keeping a recovery on track uh, and making sure that middle class families are going to have a fighting chance. All right, Congressman, thank you so much. Congressman Joe Courtney Thanks, from Professor. Connecticut, appreciate you.